Hi, my name is Frederick Gustafson from Extra Power Batteries. Today we're going to show you how to take individual cell voltages on a lead acid battery. So first off, you will need a multimeter or a voltmeter as it's referred to, and you want to turn it on to DC voltage. DC voltage, DC meaning that it's a for a battery. So we're going to start here. You're going to look for the positive cable, which is usually the red cable, and it should also be a plus sign on the cell that you want to start off with. So this is cell number one on an 18 cell battery. 18 cell, meaning that it's 36 volts, because each cell usually has a nominal voltage of two volts per cell. So starting with cell number one, you're going to put your positive probe inside of the shroud and the negative on the other side. Now some batteries, they only have single intercell connectors. Some of them have double intercell connectors. Does it matter if you go from this side or this side? No, you're gonna get the same voltage results. So we're gonna start here with cell number one. My colleague Robert is gonna be writing down the cell voltages to facilitate it. So cell number one, 2.11. Cell number two, 2.12. And what sometimes happens is that you might not get a perfect contact. So you might have to wiggle the probes a little bit so that you get a firm contact until the voltage reading actually stabilizes. So 2.12, we always round it off to two digits after the decimal point. Cell number four, 2.11, cell number 5, 2.13, cell number 6, 2.11. Now we're going to jump here to cell number 7, and you always want to make sure that you've got your positive probe going on the positive sign. 2 2.12, 2.13, 2.13, 2.13, 2.13. Now we're at cell number 12, 2.13. 2 2.12, 2.12, 2.13, 2.13, 2.13, and 2.13. Now we can also finish up by taking the overall voltage of the whole battery, which in this case is 38.29. So typically what you want to see on a good battery is you want to see the voltage ranging between 2.10 to 2.15 per cell on a fully charged battery. A bad cell would mean a cell that usually has a variance in the voltage. So you would have, for example, on this particular battery, 213, 212, 211, 213, 212, 211, then you would have one cell at, for example, 1.8 volts or 1.9 volts. That would be a sign that this cell would have to be looked at. Thank you for watching today and join us at Extra Power anytime.